Hey everyone, my name is Dennis Cortez. I am a digital product designer who codes, teaches, and makes music. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. I am actually working on Taste Notes, which is a coffee tracking app that I'm working on with a couple friends of mine. And I'm starting to build out the design system. I've done a lot of wireframes and just doing explorations around what information I wanna show where. But now I'm actually building out the design system. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you all how I kind of work through this. So I'm recording my screen and then obviously on the camera as well. So I wanted to kind of walk through my thought process and just kind of let you guys kind of, just kind of let you see a little bit into my process as I'm working on a new design system. These are just like the wireframe like inputs and buttons that I was working with. So. For that, I tend to work in just black and white, but now that I am actually working on the main components and trying to do a little bit more exploration in terms of style, um, I actually want to start building out this design system. So to do this, I like to blend a lot of the branding elements that I want to bring in with Taste Notes into the product as well. So what that kind of means is like, there's elements, for example, like border radius or like color and typography that really give the brand a bit of uniqueness to it. And it kind of builds out the entire look and feel for the entire app. So what I'm doing now is I'm exploring colors. Um, I actually landed on this font. Um, I believe it's Space Grotesque, uh, which I'm a big fan of Space Mono. So I was trying out this Space Grotesque. It's actually really nice. So I'm gonna be trying that. But right now what I'm doing is I'm actually looking for some inspiration. I know I get asked a bit about how I look for inspiration and how I use inspiration. And personally, I think inspiration is like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like people have created so many different things that it gives you like a reference point basically to start with already good decisions and good practices in place. So why not use that information already? I'm big on collecting a lot of UI and branding. Basically, I like to use this stuff in the future. So if I see something that I like on uh, Dribble, for example, I'll go ahead and save it to my collections. And now I can come back through now that I'm actually working on an app and just go through and see kind of what elements I can use. So I'm gonna go through this and kind of pick out some screens that I think could be helpful. And then we can actually go ahead and try those out as well. Mainly what I'm looking for right now is elements that kind of fit with the brand that I want to bring to Taste Notes. So it's not really set in stone, um, but I do have a couple ideas. Uh, like I kind of want the accent color to be like a, a reddish orange, maybe a brown, um, just kind of being in that warm palette because since it's coffee, um, obviously I want it to kind of represent that as well. Like I want the app to feel like like coffee in a way. I know that that might sound a bit weird, but you'll see as like I start to get elements and colors uh, that I like. So I'm gonna do this and probably just do like a time lapse for you all. And then I'll come back when I feel like I'm in a good spot. I found a couple screenshots that I liked off of Dribble. Um, mainly what I'm looking for again is this color palette and the feel. So kind of walking through each one of these real quick. Uh, for this one, I love the contrast between the gray and the orange. For this, I love this brown color that they're using and the size of the typography here. Uh, for this one, I thought maybe a green could be another one uh, that we use because for coffee, like before you roast it, it's actually a green plant um, and it's just like organic feeling and rustic feeling. Then for this one, I, I don't really like the brown. It's a little bit too saturated for my, in my opinion, but I do love this blend of brown, pink, uh, white and gray. So I'm thinking maybe like for tertiary buttons or secondary buttons, I could use some combination of these. For this one, I love the 3D aspect. I'm not sure if it will fit in with kind of what we're going for for the UI, but saved it just in case um, to see. And then this, I love the mix between the gold, like brownish gold and the green. The green might be a little bit too dark for my taste, um, but I thought it was worth maybe trying out. So what I do next um, is I like building out the main components that I'll know I'll need. So one of the main ones that I'll use as an example today are the actions. Um, some other examples are like your inputs, any containers or things like that, that you'll be using often. I like to build out that base foundation of things that you know you're gonna have to have within your app. 
again, like the actions, inputs, et cetera, et cetera. And then going back in and making components that are special to this app that I'm making. So for example, if it's something like a timer or some sort of coffee element, obviously most apps aren't gonna have that, but since it's specific to my app, those are elements that I typically build after I build the base foundations of this. So just a quick example, um, I'm gonna try out some of these colors that I have here. I feel good about the spacing uh, and padding that I used. What I used is eight on the top and bottom and then 16 on the sides. And then for my spacing in between elements, I like to use 12 uh, just because it stays on the eight point grid. And basically what that lets me do is um, like drag in, I actually have some icons here. So I can drag in an icon, um, obviously resize it, let's see like 12 maybe and then just have each of these elements aligned vertically. So then I can kind of use that as a spacing between the elements um, and then go from there when we need icons. So let's go ahead and try out the different colors that we have. Um, this is super easy. So I just basically literally just go in and grab the color with an eyedropper. Let's try this brown, although I said I don't think I'm gonna like it, but might as well anyways. And then try some of these other elements as well. I actually really like this brown. Um, I have a feeling this is what I'm gonna go with, but I'm between, I'm between these two um, and maybe this green, this is feeling good too. So immediately, I think I can take up this orangish color. Not really what I'm going for. I'm looking for something a bit more brown. Um, so immediately I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna keep this pink and this green. I'm thinking maybe they could be, one of these could be a secondary. And then actually I'm really liking the green for the branding. So what I'll try and do is just put these as white cause I think the white is gonna be a bit better. And for now I'm gonna take out this icon. Obviously I don't want to use just white but we may need like a secondary color for maybe like a gray. So let's try out, I think this gray might be a little bit too dark, but let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. And then what I try to do is actually bring in um, some screens. So let's go ahead and try out this roaster screen. I'll bring it into my components, just make a copy of it. And then I can start like actually putting these in here and seeing how they feel. So text size needs to be a bit bigger. Um, let's do that. And then actually like now that I'm seeing this in, in the actual designs, um, I'm thinking my padding needs to be a bit bigger. So. Let's try and double up on all the padding here. Um, what I'm doing there is I'm actually just tabbing between them and then using shift to go up by eight because I set my nudge amount to eight so that I can stay on the eight point grid a bit easier and then just kind of align this. So this feels pretty good. I need to also try out some of these colors. I, I think this might be a little bit of a light color for, yeah, this is way too light. Um, this is not accessible, like immediately off the bat, I, I already know that it already looks way too light. So I'm thinking maybe for actions, um, it could be a bit lighter and then like for text links, it could be a bit darker. So this kind of already actually feels nice to me, um, but I like to try out a couple different ones just to see. So let's grab this green color. And, you know, there's actually, there's actually a reason maybe for even like combining these, like maybe brown for text links and green for actions. Um, that way I can get the best of both worlds. I also wanna try this out and I think there needs to be black for this cause it's not accessible. Um, so I do like this, but not for like a main brand color. Um, it definitely feels a bit weird to try and have this as a main brand. So. I'm actually automatically going to take this out of the running for a primary color. Um, and then I don't think this gray will work either just because it's like too monotone for what I'm trying to go for. Um, but let's just try it. So yeah, it feels nice, but I don't think it could be like a main, 
main action color. I'm actually leaning towards one of these. Um, and just for example's sake, I want to also try out this darker one. So let's grab this. So what I'm thinking of here, it's actually, it's partly preference, honestly, because I mean, this is my own project, so I get to decide what I want, but it also has to do with how you want to brand your app. So if you're working with a client, for example, you obviously want to work around their brand. So a lot of the times they'll typically have their own brand color already. And that's usually what I'll do for the action. So it kind of depends um, if they have like one that's accessible or not. So I'd work around that color and try and just like maybe darken it a little bit or lighten it a little bit and then changing the actual text that you're using. The color there might affect how you decide what you want to do. So yeah, that's just kind of how I work through design systems. Obviously this is a simple example and I'll definitely share more as I get more along, but I thought this would be interesting because I know a lot of people ask me about my design system process. So hopefully it helps. Let me know if you have any specific questions down in the comments and I'll try my best to help out. And maybe I can make some follow-up videos on taste notes. If that's of interest to you, uh, just let me know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember that I have a Patreon if you guys want exclusive content. I share a lot of my taste notes progress, for example, and even like unreleased music. And you also get these videos. Usually it's around a day or two early, but sometimes I even put extra videos or put videos up to a week early on Patreon. So it's just a dollar or $5, depending on what tiers you want. And I appreciate the support to everybody that's already been subscribed there. So again, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you want more videos like this one, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.